Today, instant rapport. How do you build instant and lasting rapport? In the old days, we used to match and mirror people's behavior. You would do this, I would do this. I would do this, you would do this. Pacing and leading. Simple things like that. And you know what? All of that worked. It's called synchronization in psychology. It's kind of cool. It's neat. It works. It's effective. And it helps build a modest amount of rapport. But what builds much more intense rapport? Like the kind of rapport that you would defend someone for. Not like I kind of like that person, but I feel connected to that person. Liking someone and feeling connected to them are two different things. I like you, but I don't feel connected to you, not yet. Okay? I want to feel connected to you, and the only way that we're going to feel connected to each other is if we experience an emotional moment together. Now that emotional moment could be pretty much anything. Negative emotions, those things like sadness, grief, anger, frustration, despair, antagonism, hostility, those are the kind of emotions that if we experience those emotions together, we're much more likely to be um, identified and connected to each other. So if we want to build rapport with each other, we want to experience situations to where we're going to observe and be part of those, ex those emotions. Now, you could go to the baseball game and have a very good connection there and it could be a lot of fun and that could be cool. Those kind of emotional emotion moments also connect people together but not in a really powerful way. Usually we are connected when we both do something that we don't like together or we do something that's extremely unique together that's a good thing or we do something emotional together and we participate in it together like we're on the same team or perhaps we're part of an experiment and we're doing the same test or perhaps you and I went to war and I was in your uh, unit and now here we are 10 years later and we're still going to the same uh, reunions every year even though there were thousands and thousands of people at war you and I were in this unit and so we're the ones that go to the reunion with the other guys in our unit. Why? Because we became connected to those people. Does it mean that we weren't angry with those people in the moment? Not upset? That we they weren't frustrating and driving us crazy and that we didn't feel hostile toward them? No, not at all. We felt all those things and all those things are connecting emotions. And so when you actually experience those negative emotions with other people, whether it's about them or whether it's about the thing that you're doing, it's not all that matter. What really matters is, is for the emotional connection, for identification to be really strong is that there is an emotional bond of some kind there, something that's very intense. If you want to connect short and long term, if you want your connection to last now and forever, you want to experience emotional moments together, you want to experience unique moments together, you want to take people and do things that can be quite intense, perhaps not war, but something similar. That's how you develop instant and lasting rapport. This is the first of a series about instant rapport and we'll talk about more next time.